Why? You want this? Over this. Tile Tool Tuesday, episode 41. Here we go. Now guys, this is a tile tool video I did in the past. I have had a ton of questions regarding this pad, what it is, how good it works, and where can I get it? Now, this diamond pad here replaces its predecessor, this rubbing stone for tile. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there will vouch for me once you start using a diamond hand pad, you will never go back to anything else. Now, this is our go-to diamond hand pad. This is a 60 grit. What's great about a 60 grit is regular pressure, you receive 60 grit. If you lighten up the pressure, you can obtain 90 grit with this hand pad. And like usual, I will provide a link down there in the description box if you wanna check it out. This video will be straight to the point visually. Let's go make some cuts. Here we are, your new age diamond hand pad, your old school, traditional tile rubbing stone. Now the diamond pad is much lighter than the rubbing stone. It seems to grip the edge a lot better. And in my opinion, and my personal experience, it does last longer than this. So for those who have never tried this, I would say give it a shot. I have a feeling you will love it. Let's move on. We will start with your traditional Subway ceramic. Now this is becoming very popular with mitering around a shower niche. A lot of times when you miter a Subway ceramic, as you can see here, you get a bit of chipping. Same with your straight cuts. You get a bit of chipping as well. You want these edges to look smooth and factory. Just like that. Moving on to glass. Now, typically these types of glass tiles will come with a white backing and after cutting, you will get some blowout, which will show up after you install the tile. So you want to bevel not only this edge of the glass as well as the back edge where the white backing is. And there you go. You have a nice smooth edge here, which Mimics the factory edge with a bevel as well as a nice straight line where the backing is. And of course, this can be used with your stones such as your quartz, which is extremely popular right now for shower builds. Use this for your shower curbs. Use this for the sill of your shower niche as well as the bench top. Easy way to bevel the edges is with this 60 grit diamond pad. And then, you have a nice, straight, clean, beveled edge. Now moving on to flooring. Now when you install flooring, a lot of times you will butt your tile up to a transition or butt your tile up to a bathtub. You don't want your tile to look like this. Chipped, unfinished, it does not look factory like this side here. Easy way to clean that up. Quick and easy. It's got a bevel to it, it's smooth, it's clean. You then install against your bathtub or against your transition. The same applies to your porcelain planks, which of course are extremely popular. These are installed in a bathroom on a regular basis, butted up to a bathtub, and you don't wanna butt something like that up to a bathtub. It is a rough cut, it is a bit chipped on the edge. It needs again to look factory. And there you go. Could use a little more here, but much better than what it was. And lastly, we have a 12 by 24 cut in half. Now we use 
these diamond pads on shower wall tile more than anything, especially your 12 by 24. Not only do we use them on your miter cuts, we also use them on the straight cuts where the two side walls meet the back wall as well as the two side walls meet your trim edging, as well as on all four corners of your shower niche. After your cut, grab your diamond hand pad, clean it up, and install. Well, there you have it, a 60 grit diamond hand pad for your cut edges of tile to make it look factory, beveled, and smooth. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you want to help my channel, please hit the thumbs up button down there, and most importantly, share the video if you know anybody who might find it useful, and I'll see you guys on the next one.